Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer, and I like to party. Welcome to another This Is Not A Review. Today we're looking at Raymond Legends. I know I'm a couple years late on this one, but that's what the This Is Not A Review series is all about. It's just an outlet for me to talk about games that I'm really enjoying. And at the moment, that's Raymond Legends. Let's get into it. Rayman Legends is a straight up fun platformer that's just challenging enough without being too difficult that it makes you want to sacrifice your firstborn child to the great god of gaming just to get through the damn thing. Listen, I love platformers, or rather, I love the concept of them. When I see Mario jumping around, I'm like, damn girl, I want to play that. But then I go and play it and I want to tear my hair out, right? That's mostly not the case with Raymond Legends. It's, uh, it makes me feel like I'm actually good at platformers and that, that's quite amazing. I'm reasonably sure that I'm all kinds of shit at platformers, but when you look at the daily and weekly challenges, dude, I was getting like trophies there. I'm like, what? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but all I know is just I'm having fun with it. So the best feature of Raymond Legends, and the Raymond series in general, as far as I'm concerned, is the charm. I have always said that mechanics make a game compelling, but the way those mechanics are presented make the game fun, and that's what Raymond Legends nails. Like, you have no idea. It absolutely nails it to the wall. I'm talking about just the subtlety in the animations, and even not just your character, but the enemies and more so the environment around you. It's just so fluid and quirky and cartoony in, in a way that, that kind of fills me with nostalgia for my youth, the way animation used to be when it was playful and, and eccentric and detailed in its eccentricity, and it was just, just so goddamn charming. It was just delightful. Now I could probably talk about this for the rest of the video, the day and well into the night, but let's get to the meat of the issue, the other half of this coin. Presentation is phenomenal, but so are the mechanics. Once you get used to Raymond's slightly elastic -y movement and helicopter ears, you start to feel just how responsive the controls are. Very rarely have I felt that the game is dicking me over. For the most part, the jumps I've missed, the enemies that I've plowed into have been my fault. Occasionally, it's like, ah, oh, come on game, dick move, but it's just because it requires you to move so fast or in some levels hit several buttons at once that just seem unnatural, but they come down to more on novelty as I feel rather than poor design because these sections are so few and far between when they happen and when you get through them, which even then isn't that difficult. Once you just understand what you need to do, it's like, ah, oh, yes, I got through that. I'm fucking awesome. And maybe it is those sudden and infrequent difficulty spikes, or maybe it's just the ridiculous fanfare that you get when you complete a level. It just makes you feel good. It's like dopamine injection directly into your brain. Another great feature of the game is its variety. I cannot tell you how many times I've played a platformer and gotten bored and frustrated halfway through or sooner, not just because it gets harder, but because all the levels are the same. Sure, you got you got it split up into worlds and they've got their themes, you got your lava world and your sea world and shit, but all the levels are the same. You're doing the same thing. You're jumping over gaps, you're jumping on enemies, it's the same. Mario, I'm looking at you. In Rayman, each level for the most part has its own gimmick. It's a small little mechanic that you've got to use to get through. Whether that's Murphy, a secondary character that you half control and has to move shit around for you to be able to progress, or levels where you're just running away, Indiana Jones Boulder style. It could easily be considered the best part of this game. You've got Origins levels, which are levels you can unlock from the previous game. You've got Invasion levels, which is enemies from future worlds coming and invading worlds you've already completed. You've got Rescue missions seeded out throughout the worlds. You've got Daily and Weekly challenges. And on top of this, variety of the regular levels, you've got Timed Running challenges. Like I said before, you've got Musical levels. You've got Frantic Fast Pace levels. You've got Slow and Methodical Spy levels. And you've got Multitasking levels. It's Etc. and so on. And on top of this, you've also got multiplayer. I'm not going to comment on the multiplayer though, because I actually haven't tried it out. Oh, that's not enough for you? Then how about the music, son? 
some of the best music in a video game. The main theme is just so epic and rousing and yet playful. It's just like, all right, let's fucking do it. Let's kick some ass. And then you've got like the world themes in particular, the, the water world. It sort of, it ref I'm not going to tell you who it references, but it's really obvious. Just the little musical references and even, even more so in the musical levels. Spoiler alert, Mariachi Madness. The best level I've played so far. The best. About a quarter of the way through, I realized it was a Mariachi band version of Eye of the Tiger. Enough said. That's an RPG stamp of approval right there. And I don't care who knows it. Well, that's all I'm going to say. If you want to know more, there are countless reviews out. The game is two years old at this point, or thereabouts. So with no further gilding the lily and no more ado, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and all that jazz. It really does help out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out. This is not a review. Everything in this video should be interpreted as opinion. The Roleplay Gamer will not be held responsible for lack of discernment on the part of the viewer. This video was created for the purpose of critique and as such is protected under fair use. This has been an unpaid presentation. No gamers were harmed in the making of this video.